Alright, we're back with another reaction. Sorry for the jump scare though. Anyway, welcome to the fourth reaction with Luigi. Yay! I'm nervous. Uh, okay, never mind. So today we're going to react to Top 25 Lost Episodes Creepy Pastas. Or, pff, I don't know what to call it. So, yeah. I'm nervous. Okay. Hey, that's what I said. Okay, let's just go. Let's begin this. And hopefully we don't die. Yeah. This video contains disturbing content, violence, Ooh, a content, TV. jump scares, and, and the robot. Viewing description advice. What? Ah! Squidward! Oh shit. A lost episode. Is the style of animation in an episode which is either witnessed by the production Tom group Jerry or an individual who somehow came across it. Oh, who's that? that? Means, These episodes were lost due to being disturbing, creepy, or flat out inappropriate for oh. younger audiences. Some of the content was apparently shown on TV, oh. but was pulled off the air because of complaints or other reasons. Oh. So let's begin the top 25. Lost episode, creepy pastas. Here we go, top twenty-five lost episode, creepy pastas. Subscribe to us quickly, and hope we don't die. <laughs> Here we go, twenty-five. Oh Jesus Christ! Doug's real life. Doug's real life. Doug was an animated sitcom that focused mainly on the early adolescent life of its title character, Aww. Douglas or. Doug Funny. Doug he Funny? experiences common predicaments while attending school in his new hometown of Bluffington. Of Bluffington? Doug narrates each story from his journal, and the show incorporates many imagination sequences. However, in the fall of 2005, after the show Doug had finished airing, it came back for just one week. The four episodes oh. were okay, but the fifth was completely different. It started with the intro animations of the line drawings characters never appeared. Huh. The lines continued as normal, reacting as if the usual characters were there. Once the huh? intro ended, it switched to show Doug in a dark room, writing in his journal. He wasn't oh. narrating his writing like he usually would do in the show. He just silently wrote for about a minute. The episode itself opened with Doug eating breakfast. Oh. He was giving a voiceover about how there was a big test that he had neglected to study for. His family was having a normal conversation, and then the screen started to flash. The flashes seemed to be showing oh. some sort of image or message. You're going to hurt our stu- to decipher. Or, uh, ah. Doug left his house and began walking to school. Mrs. Wingo announced that Doug had flunked the test. The entire class started laughing. Doug got to school, the screen flashed again. Huh. It began to resemble a negative film. Huh. Doug was walking through the school hallway, which was full of kids who had never been seen on the show before. Never seen? But no one paid any attention to him. Oh. As Doug walked to his desk. Poor guy. The scene then changed to the end of school, and Doug was walking home. Oh. The pork chop turned into a hunk of rotting meat, and Doug's house became decrepit. Oh. He sat down at an empty table. The phone rang, and Doug's mom answered it. He instantly thought it was his teacher, telling them all about how he flunked the test. Doug had a fantasy about his parents yelling at him, failing the test. They grew to giant sizes, and their faces became twisted and dark red. Doug was crying and apologizing. He went up to his bedroom, which was completely empty except for a book and a pencil. Doug picked up it's book just and my ear. Writing, and he narrated this time, but it was incredibly short. All he said was, I can't tell which one is real. I can't tell what's real? Christmas confirming that number. Axe's Powers, Italia, episode 23.5. Huh. 
Natalia is a short based anime with a lovable cast of the world's nations portrayed as humans, Ugh. stereotypically based on their origins. One episode was featured on a bootleg DVD, which is not shown to be part of the original series. The show starts off with the Axis powered nations, Germany, Japan, and Italy, sitting on a tropical island, obviously stranded. Italy, of course, was his usual nonchalant self, but Germany and Japan seemed a little more grim, obviously worried. Grim? After some banter between the two nations and unsub Japanese, it appears that the two had come to a horrifying agreement. Horrifying? Some changes to that of night. It shows the three nations sleeping. The text is red. In unison, Germany and Japan stand and carefully pick up the sleeping Italy, cautious of not waking him. They then take him to the water's edge and begin to drown him. My buttons are shiny, do you see it? I can't really see them. Is Japan repeating? Ma'am. Sorry, Italy. While Germany is found looking away from the act, obviously choking back tears. After the deed is done, they carry the seemingly lifeless corpse of Italy back to the camp. Oh God, a corpse! Draws his sword and begins to cut open Italy. And oh, just organs. Organs. Means, Germany puts the organs on sticks and roasts them on the fire. After some time passes, Germany. Oh, I am sick. Acknowledgement of their friend's sacrifice, they begin to eat the bloody morsels. Shortly after they begin their meal, Italy suddenly wakes up and begins to go into a panic at the scene presented before him. Panic? Germany quickly takes control of the situation and explains to Italy that he was the weakest. Yes, but yeah, we did for them. You speak Norwegian. I know. Of his friends. Germany then embraces Italy and comforts him. As Japan finishes the procedure, more time passes. Japan and Germany are sitting around the lifeless body of Italy, and the remains of his organs placed beside him. The organs. In the final shot, oh. the camera zooms in on Italy's face. His lifeless eyes are staring at the sky, smiling, as the screen fades to black. The screen fades to black. <laughs> 20, 23? I don't know. Tom and Jerry, lost episode. Tom and Jerry? Oh my god, it has actual footage. I see. Oh my god, my heart's beating. The first scene shown in the episode shows the owner stomping on Tom's tail in a Hey, stop stomping on Tom! He's my favorite character in Tom and Jerry. Oh. He was sleeping by the basement door. Never go down there. Tom, clearly terrified, runs away to another room. Jerry then comes out of a mouse hole and follows Tom into the next room. The next few minutes okay. then show the regular Tom and Jerry routine, where yeah. Jerry tricks Tom into chasing him into the basement door a few times. <laughs> but each time the owner oh. catches Tom, flicks realistic. Ooh, that got a steak! Universe, you set up for a SpongeBob battle for Bikini Bottom. <laughs> Oh. To Jerry not to My heart's Jerry. beating very fast. You can tell what he's doing by his body language. Body language? Jerry just laughs at him and pushes him back to the basement door. The owner catches him again, but this time goes ballistic. Ballistic? Like he was finally taking pity on Tom. So Jerry picks up a knife. Picks up a knife. And starts stabbing the owner in the leg. Stabbing right the owner in the leg. Soon after, Tom opens ah! the basement carry the body down the stairs. Multiple other bodies were then seen down there, decaying and showing signs of their violent deaths. Ah! Tom and Jerry shook hands. Ow. But Jerry suddenly gets an evil look in his face. Ah. And Tom says in a ghastly, deep voice, Don't you believe it? Jerry stabs Tom, killing him instantly, and throws his corpse along with the other bodies. Huh. The last shot of the episode. Oh, don't look at it. Then shows Jerry putting up a oh. for sale sign on the yard of the house, laughing. Whoa. Clearly planning to do it all over. Evil again. face. Out of time. Look. Even here. Oh fuck. 
My hands are shaking after that. Oh my, let's do that again soon. Yeah, I agree.